Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This guy's Chance here, you can call me Chance. And today we're talking about chocolate dipped strawberries. The mistakes I've made so you don't have to. <laughs> Let's get into it. So uh, this past Valentine's Day, I did make my boyfriend some chocolate dipped strawberries to ask him out for Valentine's Day. I know, round of applause for you. Such a good boyfriend. Uh, and I, this was like one of my first times making chocolate dipped strawberries. I've always made like handmade chocolates for Valentine's Day itself. So I know a thing or two about melting chocolate, but it was an experiment learning how to handle strawberries correctly. So here's some tips that I have uh, to make sure your strawberry making process goes smoothly, which is tip number one. Uh, why well, I don't really have to list these, so I'm not going to. I'm going to just tell you um, to set up everything beforehand. Have all the chocolate measured out, have all the parchment paper set on the trays. It might seem like a little step, but it's a step I always forget <laughs> for anything. Having everything prepared beforehand makes it a lot smoother of a process and allows you to work more efficiently. <laughs> Uh, number two is to rinse and completely dry off your strawberries. If they're a little closer to room temperature, that's even better because I've noticed that if you're adding hot chocolate to something that's cold, it's going to crack. The chocolate's not going to like solidify correctly. And then also on top of that, if you're adding hot chocolate to a surface that is wet, the chocolate is not going to stay on. Might seem obvious to some people, but as a 22 year old, it was not obvious to me. It was one of many mistakes made that day. Tip number three is to never, ever, 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 ever microwave your chocolate. This wasn't a mistake done by me, as I've said, I make chocolate candies every year for my, my partner. Uh, and my, my sister, she microwaved her chocolate for cake pops this year, and it became a clump of mess. You hear that little tippy tap? It's my doggo being obnoxious. He sees a bird outside. Yeah, I'm looking at you, bitch. Oh no, he's coming for he's coming for fights. <laughs> um, she melted her chocolate and it became a clumpy, dry mess. I always melt mine. Um, not in the microwave, but over a stove. That way you have a lot more control over it. I use a double burner. If you don't know what a double burner is, it's a pot. Well, we do, we use just a pot with a bowl that's slightly bigger than the lip of the pot. Fill the pot with water, bring it to a boil, add your other pot on top, bring the water down to a simmer, and start melting your chocolate. It's easy, it's easy as that. You can also buy special, like, specifically pots that are made to be double burner burners, but I, I don't like to have too many products in my house, so, yeah. Um, oh, and here's a big thing that I learned this year. I've always bought chocolate chips for making, like, chocolates or, or anything, like, dipped and stuff. Always bought chocolate chips. My little sister this year, for her stuff, bought chocolate melts. So I got to uh, 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 opportunity to try both, and chocolate chips are so much better. Like, why does anybody get the chocolate melt? Is there like a specific reason? Uh, let me know in the comments below because I do not know. But I, in my personal opinion, if you don't like a super sweet chocolate, chocolate chips are so much better to make chocolate dip <laughs> chocolate dipped strawberries. Okay, that's all I have listed on my paper, but here's a little bit of a rundown. Because we're going, uh, going through my like little log clips I've done. Um, other tips I would have is to make sure you have freezer space beforehand. I like to put them in the freezer to harden or even fridge space beforehand. And I didn't, and if you notice, my strawberries came out a little ugly. Because when I close the freezer, because we have one of those freezers that are like full open ones, it like hit the ice bin that's underneath and it smeared a bunch of them. I was so upset. I was so upset. Um, yeah, that's a big one. That was a big one. And if you want to make cute shapes out of your strawberries, I'd also recommend 
um, using a skewer to dip. I kind of just threw the strawberry in with a spoon, but it made the coating kind of uneven and kind of clumpy. And there's a lot of excess that was frozen off, frozen on to the bottom of it. It just didn't make for a great like look and textural experience. I don't, I wouldn't think I didn't eat it. So yeah, <laughs> that has been my experience making chocolate dipped strawberries this year. It has been a wonderful experience. I will definitely do it again. Uh, it's so much cheaper than buying chocolate dipped, dipped strawberries and it was a lot of fun. Definitely a learning experience. Have you ever made chocolate dipped strawberries and what advice would you give to anybody who's starting to make them themselves? Please let me know in the comments below. And thank you for watching. <laughs> this is Sky's Chance saying, Sky's never the limit, never give up. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!